Good morning. Good morning and welcome to Christ Church. My name is David Donfin. I'm the Minister of Music and Organist here, and it's my joy to welcome you to worship this morning at Christ Church. And it's good to be back with you. As most of you know, we were gone on a family vacation last Sunday, so it's great to be back with you this morning. I am so excited and so pleased to welcome the One Voice Youth Choir and the High School Handbell Choir from Christ Church United Methodist in Louisville, Kentucky. Their directors, uh, Ben Williams and Dan Blosser, and I have been friends for years. And it's great to have them back with us this morning, leading us in worship. Last time they were here was in 2019. You know, any more people say pre-COVID or post-COVID. And so they were last here pre-COVID in 2019. And the Centrum was in a different configuration at that time. So they've had fun getting used to the room this morning. And we are in for a real treat this morning as they lead us through our worship service. Um, I'd like to point out the note in the, at the end of the bulletin. The handbells are going to play the postlude. So after the benediction is given, if you're able to stay for the postlude, I'd like to ask you to have a seat. And then the, the bells will lead us out of worship then um, as a postlude. All right, let us be in a spirit of prayer as the high school handbells from Christ Church United Methodist in Louisville, Kentucky, lead us in opening our service together. is the Lord's and everything in it, in the world and all who live in it. For he has founded it on the seas and established it on the waters. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord, who may stand in his holy place. The one who has clean hands and pure heart, who does not trust in idol. They will receive blessings from the Lord and vindication from God their Savior.
everyone. My name is B. Sanderson, and I'm here this morning to share my testimony with you. Now, when I was younger, I thought going to church was a punishment. I thought, I felt like I had to wake up at the crack of dawn every single Sunday morning, put on an itchy dress, and go to church for the most boring hour of my life, every single week. The only thing I really liked church, about church was communion. The soft, warm di bread dipped in the sweet purple grape juice made me happier than a kid playing with chalk on a warm day in July. I always admired the sanctuary, the stained glass window sharing stories from the Bible, the altar that says, do this in remembrance of me at the front of the sanctuary. I loved the banners hanging behind the choir loft and the huge cross hanging from the ceiling, even though I thought it was gonna fall on me sometimes. I, I always thought the organ was as loud as children laughing, but it made me happy. I did the kids' choir, but it just felt forced. During quarantine, I did church online and joined Zoom meetings with one of my favorite pastors. When we could go back to church in person, I thought about it and asked my parents if I could join the middle school uh, handbells and choir. They were really happy to hear that and said yes. It's, I started getting really involved, and I made lots of new friends. After my last middle school choir retreat, I realized something. I loved choir. I loved singing, and I loved being with all of my friends. After my eighth grade confirmation and singing in church, I also realized some other things. I loved everyone in this choir. I am so honored to be able to sing with all of these wonderful people and just get to be around them. The next thing that I realized is I am a child of God, and he loves me no matter what I does, even if I help out with everything I can do or even my lowest of days. Um, sorry. <laughs> he loves each and every one of you in this sanctuary, and that just means everything to me. The last thing I realized is that church is not a punishment. Church is the thing I look forward to every week, and it gets me through everything I'm going through. When I'm down, I think, oh, Sunday night, I have Handbells Choir and Youth Group, and I get to be with all of my friends. And I just love that I get to go to church every week and be with my friends. Uh, thank you for listening so to my testimony and remember that you all are a blessing.
Have you been blessed so far? You know, in my opinion, applause when led by the Spirit is always appropriate in worship. And I knew you were dying to do that after the first couple songs. But just keep that in mind. When led by the Spirit, in my opinion, applause is always appropriate because you're connecting with what just happened and that's your emotional response. So I want you to remember that from this day forward. That's something that we all need to hear. I have just a couple of quick announcements before we move into our, our beautiful offertory. First of all, as you know, um, our lead pastor, Jay Parkins, is retiring. He is officially retired now. Uh, there was a service honoring him at annual conference. I believe it was either Friday or Saturday. Um, he is technically our lead pastor to the end of the month, but you will see that we have some guest speakers coming up for the rest of July. But we will gather again tonight at 5 o'clock with Jay and his wife Becky for a retirement celebration. So hopefully all of you will be able to come back for that. The announcement is to bring a side dish or a dessert to share, and it will begin at 5 o'clock downstairs. A couple other things I wanted to point out is that our arts camp, Fun in the Far East, is just a week away. It starts a week from tomorrow. Um, and so the deadline for registration is actually this Wednesday. So if you know of any child who just finished first through fifth grade that wants to participate in our arts camp, uh, please encourage them to do so. One of the things that we're going to be making this year is a 25-foot Chinese dragon that we will parade through the Centrum on the last day that Friday as part of their program that they give at the end of the week. So that Friday, I believe it is the 21st um, at noon, the kids that are involved in the arts camp will give about a 20 minute presentation of what they've learned and what they've created. And one of them will be the parade with this 25 foot red Chinese dragon, which will be a lot of fun. We also have Vacation Bible School coming up here um, in about a month or so. And so keep your eyes open for information about that. Everything else is in the trifold. Um, now as we enter into a time of offering, let us collect God's tithes and our offerings.
Good morning. Today's scripture lesson comes from Isaiah 42, verses 10 through 12. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the coastlands and their inhabitants. Let the desert and its towns lift up and raise their voice, the villages of Kedar inhabitants. Let the inhabitants of Selah shout with joy. Let them shout from the tops of mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and declare his praise in the coastlands. This is the word of the Lord.
My name is Bella Jerger, and I'm a senior with the One Voice Choir. Um, I just graduated high school, but um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about who we are and what we do. Um, we are a group of students from age eight, from eighth grade to seniors in high school, and we're from Louisville, Kentucky. And what we do is we make music. We've been spending this week in Eastern Kentucky. Um, making music and serving the community. We went to Henderson Settlement and Redbird Missions, and we did everything from sorting clothes in a thrift store to edging the sidewalks to um, cleaning out an old art classroom, just everything that we can to help the community in addition to singing and making music and coming together as one community. And I just want to share um, one of my experiences from this past week that has really resonated with me. Um, so the other day we went to a retirement home in Middlesboro, Kentucky, and we had been singing, and after the concert, a woman came up to me, and she just kept saying, um, I just love the Lord, I just love the Lord, and I couldn't really understand a lot of what she was saying, her voice was very shaky, but that's one thing that she just kept saying, and it's one thing I could understand, and I just said, yeah, me too, like, that's why we're here, that's what we're doing, we just love the Lord, and she said, um, she just said, I feel that, and I can tell, and I could feel him here when you guys started singing. And that just really resonated with me, and it just made me realize that no matter what we do, whether we're um, serving the community, whether we're singing, making music, we're all coming together to spread his word and spread God's love. 
And so I pray that um, even if it's just one of you out there, that someone can feel that way and that we can resonate with you somehow. So thank you for coming.
Hello, everyone. I am I'm Bobby Patton, the youth minister with Troy, uh, Christ First United Methodist in Louisville, Kentucky. I really sincerely hope that you were blessed by us coming to you today. We definitely were blessed by just getting to worship with you today. Um, it's a great joy and honor to do this um, for you guys and just a chance to share more of God's love, his power, and ultimately his glory with everyone. But now, by whom whose power who has extreme abundance to carry on beyond what we are able to do, far more than we can all ask or even imagine, to him be the glory in the church and in all other generations, forever and ever. Amen. You guys. Thank you. 